Tailwind CSS is taking the front end world by storm. This is the video I created where I show you how to set up your Angular project and add Tailwind CSS. Whether you're new to Angular or you have an Angular project that you want to add Tailwind CSS to, this is the video to watch. And I will not just end there, I'll show you also how to implement this wonderful UI where you can switch from light mode and dark mode. So this is basically what I'll actually show you in this video. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Now let's get to the code. So we'll be going through Tailwind's documentation, which will show us the guide how to add Tailwind to our Angular project. So the first thing that you'd need to do is create your Angular project. So this will be done using our ng new, and then we'll just say this is first Tailwind. So that's the name of our project. So normally I like adding SCSS. I'll say no to server-side rendering. And this will go ahead and actually now create our Angular project. After we've actually created our Angular project, it says we need to CD into that project. So I won't CD using the terminal, I'll just open up the project here. So I'll just open this project. Okay, so I've actually opened up the project here in VS Code. So now I can go ahead and actually now install Tailwind. So I'll install this as a dev dependency, these packages over here, and run this command. So what this will do is add our packages to our package.json file. So that is done now. And then the next thing that I'd want to do is go ahead and actually um, initialize our Tailwind. Uh, config. So how I do that is run this npx tailwind css in it. So this should go ahead and actually add tailwind config json. Okay, so this is fine, right? So for now, I'll just quickly skip uh, step three on purpose and come back to it. So the next thing I want to do is actually add tailwind directive to our CSS. <laughs> So how I go about doing that is I'll just copy this, go to my global CSS file and add this. Okay, so then the next thing here it, it tells us is that we need to uh, actually ng serve. So we can go ahead and actually ng serve and I'll just say no and this should run our project. So, so since this actually initialized a lot of stuff, just go to my app components HTML and just clear everything. So for now, when I open up this, I should see a blank page. So now I'm just gonna go to a website, copy some Tailwind styles. So here I got this Tailwind CSS uh, where they're actually creating a card uh, component which implements this dark and light mode. Okay, so I'll just copy this, paste it here and go ahead and save. Okay, so now if we open up our app, we see that we actually have this content rendering here, but it's not actually applying any uh, Tailwind CSS to it. So reason being is because we've actually skipped a step here in Tailwind's config. So this is where you actually configure which uh, content that the Tailwind CSS should be applied to. So how you do that is, You'd say we want to go to a, uh, on the current directory source, right? We use this wildcard, which is star star, which is anything after that. And then we'll just say forward slash star where uh, we have a dot HTML or a dot uh, TS uh, file. So just by adding this, uh, so this configuration will check within our project in source uh, and then anything in that source which is all the uh, folders in our source file it will try to find all the HTML and CS and TS files. So now if we go ahead and come here you should be seeing uh, the stylings implemented. So if I were to just um, remove the HTML you'll see that it's actually not going to apply any CSS to this .html file. So this is what we're basically doing uh, in this uh, configuration. 
So we'll probably need this HTML and TS in our config for this to work. So now let's go ahead and actually test out if this dark mode uh, would work, dark mode and uh, light mode would work. But we don't have a toggler set up in our project for that, so we'll just use our inbuilt dark mode and light mode. So if I were to toggle this to light mode, you should see that our card actually changes. If I toggle back to dark mode, and you should see that also works. So that's how you basically add Tailwind CSS to your Angular project. With that being said, if you are new to the channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.